Oh, friggin' rights, boys. I want to do some more work on the 80 tree there, but I got some running around to do this morning. So we'll get that nonsense out of the way and we'll uh, get back and we'll hit the wood one. See if we can't clean up a little bit of a mess. Maybe find some parts, do a little fitting. But let me get this stuff done there and we'll uh, come back and see what we can do. We're back in the stash here. Oh goodness, it's the good stuff, boys. A couple startners, AC pumps, a couple friggin' AC pumps, friggin' power steering, vacuum pump assemblies. Holy suffering. Even got a another type of the vacuum assist devices. Different friggin' transmission coolers. All type of stuff, but uh, yeah, I thought if we just hack off the end of one of them and hack off the end of the other guy, we might be able to. Uh, but of course, you know, of course, not yours. Why would you even? Why would you even give three three parts? But yeah, so we'll take that, we'll cut that up, and uh, yeah, extra fuel pumps, extra freaking pull knees. Turbo housings, holy suffering! Transmission freaking forks, all type of the spaddle matters, holy! Some clamps, gonna need some uh, charge pipes and this and that too. I'm pretty sure that stuff's in the house, but it might be decked. We got some bits to choose from, so hopefully. Uh, we can make her work. Oh shit. Hopefully we can make her work. Any words? We got back from the part sticks. I had to shoot over there quick. Get uh, a couple of the a couple of the moogs and a couple of the hanger barons. I mean this one it's just rusted out, right? I mean there's no sense on friggin' putting old crappy stuff on there. So I mean the plan is hopefully like that one will fit right inside of that one. We'll just cut it off and cut it off. But I mean, you can saw this the size difference of the acrement to the stovepipe, and then of course the length we're dealing with, right? And so it's like different splines, different lengths, different ends. But if we can make if we can make that guy's stovepipe on there, Vineyards will figure out what we're doing and do it. Well, if it's not three things, it's 11. Eh? But yeah, I guess uh, from what I can tell you, just tear off that uh, outer rubber and the uh, bearing is right there. But of course, my, my bearing our scolio is a little miniature one. Is she no fit? Is she no fit? So, yeah, that's less than ideal. So, hmm, I guess we'll come up with plan L. Not sure what that is yet, but when we figure it out, we'll daunt us. A little short of turning something on the lathe and snozzing all in half and drilling it and all that kind of stuff. We just kind of grab the, the tippy edge. I don't, I don't think that's going to work. I think we're just going to mushroom the outer freaking chasler right off of it and uh, it's just going to be, it's just going to turn into a situation. We could have just left it on there and changed the outer husk. And, uh, you know, been on our words. Snows and all that U joint off of there. And was it was a bling bling. Get really old how you do them, but we'll see if this will work. I gotta do like a trifecta of the, of the stove pipe back here, a little bitch. Uh 
Oh, I got some bright-eyed eards, and I got their old friggin' Nelson's hammer out and friggin' give her the old tippy-tappy, but didn't even budge it. All I did was chowder it. Now 100%, we gotta change it. Eh? But I ain't got, I ain't, none of my pullers are even in the realm of long enough to get over that shaft, and just can't get an Ackerman to it. Eh? We got the husk cover in the words. Yeah, I didn't even really, you know, need to change that. That was just a, a little bit of a cock show there. So, we're going to have to come up with a plan C here, boys. Plan C, what do we got? Need something to just shimberly under there. <laughs> you know what I mean, but... How's it going? Anyways, boys, I made a few phone calls and I talked to a few dicks and, uh... I don't think this is going to work. You can't... You know, we'd have to, uh... The wall. Very thin. Right? Where's the other one? What do I do with it? Oh, gracious. Well, it's gone anywhere, so we can't even... Right? But, uh, uh, third thing's third. Friggin, uh, the shafts are just so, because I was hoping, oh yeah, you know, maybe the wall thickness is, is, come on, thick enough to where we could, uh, you know, give her the old stove pipe, but, uh, I know stink. I know stink. You know, we, we don't need to lose much. I think the transmission might be, you know, shit's just in a different position, right? We had to move the transmission mount back to to corpusize with the friggin transmission mounts on this guy except for you know maybe the the stump or some somewhere in here's not you know two inches well yeah I don't know I don't know how to explain it but you know it's not a whole two inches because this thing almost fits in there I mean we carved off half that barren now I'm gonna I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do I gotta find my my other puller for freak's sakes but I mean you can see we're only maybe maybe one inch that's not two inch I mean we're right right in line with the edge of the coposodic right so and yeah you know what I mean so we don't really need to shorten it all that much but it's enough to quit you know I mean if we just because like what I was going to do is just buzz that off and then like buzz this off down here and then like sleeve it terribly and then like shove uh, you know something of the similar thickness in all the way around to get you know your spacing but that I mean, we're just going to be wrecking shit right there's no sense in doing that because you can't drive it like that for frig sakes right so yeah we'll uh we'll go to uh to the driveline dicks tomorrow I think because we just need that one little piece and then maybe we can give them the old how you doing in the reach around ski and next thing you know we'll come home with uh, with the guy but I'll pop this uh, guy off there I'll find my polder it's got to be around here somewhere and uh, yeah I don't know boys I don't know I'd hate I'd hate to be the one to talent you I really really would but uh, yeah that's the uh, apparently the biggest one that I have I thought I had a great big one, but whatever. It's gone. It grew legs. So, yeah, that's just about, yeah, about, oh, I'd say, quite much. Oh, quite much too short. Just totally just not, right? So, we're dicked. Yeah, I just did the cut and torch that off. Fox. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show it to see my guy. I, was, I used it the other day. But, uh, yeah, the Jackery, 94%. Same where I left it days ago. But uh, yeah, you got different types of the ports for different types of the activities at different things. If you wanted to, you know, masculate the different uh, power sources. Giuseppini. This thing comes in handy, sound terrible. And when we're done in the 83, you know, we're not going to have all type of USBs and fanny panners and all that type of well and bessels in it. So that'll be, the, that'll be the type of the unit you're going to want to carry with you. So you don't have to like drill holes in your dash to put all type of the fanny panners in it. That's the plan anyways. But uh, yeah, links to the prescription for that son of a bitch. Come in handy a few times it did. But anyways, yeah, so you can see my dilemmas. Uh, so like, I mean, maybe when we get there, they'll have, oh yeah, we can just, you know, lop that off and just stick another end on that we already have. And we don't even have to dick this one. And then, you know what I mean? Whatever, like it doesn't matter, but it's just not going to fit on there, right? I mean, it doesn't matter what I do. 
you know, whittle it down and this and that, but like, how do you bite onto that with the lathe to do that end? You know what I mean? Like, so that's what I was thinking. Oh, you know, there's a little, there's a dink in the end there. Maybe if we pull that out, there's a dink in the other end, but I don't see no, no dink in the other end. Right? It's like a casting McMarmaduke, so there's no way to sort of center that with anything. So you'd have to like grab onto it with an 11 jod mix cigarette and. Well, that just sounds like work. Eh? But other than that, I think uh, it'd probably be a good idea to get the, the front drive shaft, you know, a, a new one, probably. We'll get that uh, dealt with at some point, too. But for, you know, for just getting her down and driving her and making sure everything's copacetic, because, yeah, it'd be nice to get a, a one piece. Huh, I wonder if. Uh, like a third gen 1500 freaking aluminum drive shaft. Hmm. Hmm. Eh? What do you think of them apples? But, uh, yeah, maybe we should claw some of them out tomorrow. That's what we'll do, maybe. So, you got all these appliance sparklers going on a lot of the times, and sometimes it's good, sometimes they're not so good. Wasted a lot of time trying to find some dick that, uh, Knows about drive shift. Well, what I, what I originally called about was a two piece, a, a Santos, a Santos to comment to which they make like a, a two sized asshole, right? You'd have one size and then another size. And I thought, well, that's perfect because this almost fits. So if we had to like adjust a, adjust a nut, you know, eight or ten notches well you know we could probably there's probably enough meat on that to where we could slide that whole thing forward half an inch you know what i mean and then that would compensate for that and i mean the the guy still had an inch to go on the stove pipe so i don't know if we could find a double-ended arse colio but i don't think uh from what i can tell from the parts deck and from the other dicks and the different dicks I think they're too, they're, it's too much of a difference. Santos, too much of a difference. It was a little bit closer maybe, they said, but I don't know. We'll, we'll go down there tomorrow and we'll see what they say. But of course, tonight's dicked. Got into the different types of ashes or something. And the next thing you know, we're coming up with all type of the bright ideas. But anyways, boys, we'll go see what these dicks say in the morning. We'll pull out uh, a couple drive shifts too and maybe... I don't know, maybe we got one that'll just bolt right in there. Hey, that'd be too fanny panty, wouldn't it? But anyways, boys, let me know what you think. If you if you got any bright ideas about this friggin' dilemma, friggin' uh, leave a comment there. And if you missed them, a couple of bitches from earlier in the week, but I'm just begging my partner, which is here going to do power. So, don't know. I'll let the watchers get you.